this video, I am going to be sharing with you five different types of head joints that you can find at the Flute Center. Of course, they have a ton more head joints than this, but these are some new styles that they have that I wanted to share with you and just kind of give you a little sampling of each one. It's true, so they use this hashtag, hashtag all the flutes, and it's so true. They literally have everything. They have all makers, all different types of flutes, and so it makes it very convenient that if you are looking for a new instrument to be able to go there and find whatever it is that you might be looking for, what you're searching for, and they just have so many options. Of course, they have these style head joints, but a ton of other styles. Definitely go check out their website for more information on what head joints they have. They have people who specialize just in head joints. They also have head joints from other flute makers that make full flutes that you could just buy those head joints. They have a lot of options for you. Some of the different head joints I'm gonna be sharing with you today are your typical silver and gold head joints. And I also have wooden head joints. I have engraved head joints. And I also have some that will completely change your sound to make it sound more like a Baroque instrument. So stay tuned for all of that. I did want to remind you of all the perks that I have for you at the Flute Center of New York. When you use my code Gina, you will get both free shipping as well as an extended warranty on any new instrument that you purchase. For flutes and piccolos, if you're doing a trial, you will get an extended trial. For sheet music, you'll get 10% off of sheet music. And finally, if you're looking to sell your flute through the Flute Center and there are repairs that need to be done on your instrument, you'll get $25 off those repairs. And you can learn more about consigning your flutes right here. It's always really important when you're trying different head joints both to try it out on the body of the flute that you're going to be playing it with, not just some random body. Uh, so that's really important, number one. Number two, you have to find something that works both well with the body that you currently have, which I will go into the specs of this in just a second, as well as what works best for you as a flute player. What is it that you are looking for in your sound? Typically when you're looking for a new head joint, you're looking for something different, whether it's a different sound than the flute that you currently have, maybe you feel like something is missing in the sound that you currently have, so that, that would definitely be a reason why you would be changing your head joint out. Also another option would be that you are wanting to upgrade, you need something that is a little bit more advanced, and rather than getting an entirely new flute, you can just start with upgrading the head joint, which is obviously a little bit more cost effective than buying an entirely new instrument. And the thing that is going to make the biggest difference in your sound is the head joint. So just things to keep in mind. The first head joints that I'm going to be showing you today are by Hernandez. Hernandez head joints are a Flute Center exclusive and are handmade in Spain. They make head joints both from wood as well as metal, and they have unique features like artificial ivory risers. The flute that I'm going to demonstrate for you today is this one with a rosewood lip plate. I have a video that I demo and review all four of these, so you can check that one out right here. This is weight 935 silver and has a rosewood lip plate with a square cut low lip plate. One thing that I just wanna point out before playing it is I just love the look of the rosewood and also it has it on the crown. I just love that detail, but let's play it and hear what it sounds like. has a fantastic, fantastic sound. Um, very impressed with this one. Let me play some excerpts for you so we can hear a little more. Next, I have Alcone head joints. I have four different ones. It's actually awesome. There are a bunch of different types, silver, 
gold with wood lip plate, a wooden one here with a silver riser, as well as an all wood head joint. There are a lot of options. Petty Alcone head joints are handcrafted using traditional seamed tube techniques with Alcone's signature asymmetric cut. The asymmetric cut is designed to give a rich and versatile sound with a wide range of tone colors and dynamics. All head joints are handmade in Barcelona, Spain. And the one that I will be demoing for you today is this one, which is Pekia Wood, but you can check out my review of all of these head joints right here. This head joint has a Pekia tube, lip plate, and riser. It has silver rings, cork plate, and tenon. The lip plate right here becomes flush with the tubing here as well as right here. One thing to note is it does not have silver around here. Having the silver there is going to change the way that it sounds even beyond it being a different type of wood. But let's try it out and see what it sounds like. This one is a workhorse. This one is beefy, and I, I think that's really cool, depending, again, the type of music you're playing. Personally, I really love to be able to really push the sound a lot, especially in the low register. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know that. Um, so I love the style of this head joint. It's very easy to play. You just want to fill uh, this little cir half circle right here against your lip and put that where it normally, for the most part, would fit uh, what you're used to. So that's what I would definitely recommend. Next up, I have three head joints by Faulisi. These ones are very, very popular right now. You might have heard of them because a lot of very famous flute players play on these head joints. Handmade in Paris by Salvatore Faulisi, Faulisi head joints are favored by some of the greatest flutists in the world, including Emmanuel Pahoud, Denis Boryakov, and Michel Debose. Faulisi offers silver and gold head joints with the option of having them custom engraved. I did want to point out this head joint right here because it has a beautiful engraving. I am going to actually demo this one right here, which is their 14 karat gold head joint, but you can check out my review for all three of them right here. This head joint has a 14 karat gold tube, lip plate, and riser. It also has a 14 karat gold crown and silver cork assembly with a rectangular oval cut. One thing that I will mention, it's totally fine to have a gold head joint, silver body, you have to be very careful about the fitting because typically silver flutes are thicker and the gold flutes are thinner. And so to show you right now, it is so loose and you have to be very, very careful with that. If you are trying this at home on your flute and it is loose like that, I would recommend getting just a piece of scotch tape, just a little bit about that much and putting it on your head joint right here. Um, it will not damage the flute. Just put a tiny bit on there so that you don't have this issue that it could fall off so easily. You have to be very, very careful with that because obviously it could fall on the ground, not good. Or if you're holding your flute by here, it's just the body's gonna fall on the ground. So you have to be very careful of that. With all head joints in general, you have to make sure that it fits on the body that you currently own. So definitely try those out. That's Another big reason that it's very important to be doing trials of these flutes. So I added a little tape, so let's try it out and see what it sounds like. It just has such a rich sound. I love 
love this head joint. Very easy to play, speaks very easily. Um, let me play some excerpts to give you a little bit more of a range of what this head joint can do. The next head joints that I have to share with you are by Medina. These wooden head joints are handmade in Sao Paulo, Brazil by Abner Medina. Medina offers a wide mix of wood species with optional silver risers. The one that I will be demoing today is this one, which is Bocate wood. Again, I have them all in this video right here. And so you can check that out if you want to learn more. This handmade head joint features a Bocate wood tube, lip plate and riser with silver rings, cork plate and tenon. It has a really gorgeous sound, definitely very dark, which I think is really cool. Very easy to play, very easy to pick up, even though I'm used to playing on a gold head joint. It was very easy to pick this up, which is great. Sometimes switching to a wooden head joint can be a little tricky, but this one is very, very easy to play. You might be wondering with a wooden head joint, when do you play this? Do you play this all the time? Do you play it for certain types of music? It just kind of depends on you. Some people do play a wooden head joint at all times instead of a silver or a gold head joint or something along those lines. Others use it for certain types of music when they want a different type of sound. So. For instance, maybe you're playing early music, Baroque music, then you might want to swap it out. Depends on the person and your playing style and the preference that you have for sound. And finally, I have four head joints by Ariel Lewis. These wooden head joints are in a Baroque style to fit a concert flute. These head joints offer something unlike any other wooden head joint that you've seen. They actually sound and respond very similarly to a Baroque instrument. So fun fact, I actually own one of these head joints by Ariel Lewis. I got it before Flute Center started carrying them. I loved it and I'm so glad that the Flute Center is now carrying them just so that it brings more awareness to this amazing, amazing head joint maker and that way hopefully these head joints get into more hands. Again, I have a demo of all four of these in this video right here, but the one that I am going to demo today for you is this one right here, which is the rosewood head joint. It is made of South American rosewood tubing with solid silver tenon and is circle cut. Beautiful sound. I'm gonna play a little bit more so that you can get more of an idea of the tone of this head joint. Like this introduction to this very small sampling of some of the head joints that Flute Center has to offer. Speaking of Flute Center, thank you again to the Flute Center of New York for making this series possible. I have so much fun trying out all these different instruments 
and getting to play them myself. It's so cool. It's like I'm having a flute shop in my home, which is amazing. Flutist stream, super nerdy, I know, but so much fun. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my future flute videos and content. And make sure to also follow me on Instagram and TikTok, and I'll see you next time.